Hi guys, I'm Imogen and I'm your Tuesdays on the Daily Dose of LGBT and this week I am alone, I'm not with Jess anymore, she is in Norwich but I will be seeing her soon um, and this week it was my topic and I picked Gay Prides this is because in about three weeks I will be going to Brighton Gay Pride which is one of the biggest uh, gay prides in England and I'll be going down there, I'll be camping for about a week with Jess and my best friend and it's going to be absolutely awesome and I cannot wait. So Gay Prides, um, I definitely recommend you attempt to get to one. I mean last year I went to like five, this year I think I'm only going to two but um, it is a great chance to meet up with like old friends and their friends and people you've never met before if you've been talking to them online you can meet some great new people, put yourself out there into the community, get yourself known, maybe find a nice girl that you like. Um, they're definitely fun, there's definitely good things on stages, comedy acts, um, singers, dancers, everything. There's drag qu uh, queens and kings and there's all sorts of stalls, refreshments and you know what, they're just fantastic and usually there is like a parade before but I've uh, never actually been to one of them because usually they're in the morning and I'm not usually awake um, but I'm going to attempt to get to one this year uh, but yeah they are fantastic Def definitely recommend you go definitely recommend you take uh, your phone to save people's numbers and um, take all the necessities that you need to take don't be silly and think you're going to get away with uh, just taking yourself uh, I'd definitely take water if it's going to be warm because they're generally in the summer. Uh, I'd also take a rain cover thing in case it rains like it did at Sheffield Pride last weekend when everybody got completely soaked. Um, I'd definitely take money because there's usually stores selling things and you can give money to a charity and exciting things like that. If you were going to one like Brighton where you're camping, uh, take all your camping things, make sure you have enough money and food and drink for the week because I can tell you from experience if you are not prepared then it does ruin your entire experience uh, as I learned last year at Brighton Pride where I didn't have enough money, I didn't have any food, I didn't have any water and it was like the worst week of my life um, but apart from that I can definitely recommend that you go try it out, uh, drag along a friend, if not I'm sure you could go by yourself and manage to make a ton of new friends by the end of the day you're just there with like-minded people and it's fantastic um, I don't know how it works in America really um, I'm guessing they only really do them in the big cities, I'm not really 100% sure but um, if you've been to any or you're going to any comment down below and tell me about them because I want to know what your Pride experience was and I hope you guys have a fantastic week and uh, I will see you next week so bye